I'm Johnny Scoville and this is Chase the Heat. Got a beauty, another unusual pod I've never eaten before. In fact, never heard of it. This is what it is. Look at this. This is, is it Andrew or Andy's? Andy's Unreaper. Little spines on it, poking out of it. Kind of a neat looking little pepper. Does it resemble a reaper? But apparently there's some reaper in it. Did a little digging. And uh, let's see what I got here. All right, this variety was developed by Andy Whitaker from Alabama. So Andy, tip my hat to you. This is a cross between a reaper and another unidentified pepper. Pods are extremely hot. It is an unstable pod. What that means is, let's say I were to cut this open, dry the seeds, plant them, and grow these out. Let's say I had 10 different seeds that grew out. Some would look like this, some would look like reapers, and some would look like the other, uh, just a variety. They wouldn't be, it's not uh, stabilized. Once they re reach the eighth season of growing, F8, they are stable. And if you stabilize this, then every pod would look like it, but it's an unstable pod. All right, so I'm going to cut this thing open and uh, take a gander inside. I'm going to eat this thing and see how hot it is. Very interesting interior. Just a minute. All right. So we're going to uh, show you what this interior looks like. A lot of wide open space in there. Kind of a relatively small placenta, veins running from the base to the tip on both sides. Thin walled, kind of the wall lining is, is oily for sure. In fact, this side's very oily. Mm. All right, so it's got a great, so I'm gonna pull, there's a couple dark seeds I'm gonna pull out. Here, I'll show you. See this little seed right there? I'm pulling that one out because every time I do that, someone will say, every time someone will say, why do you pull out dark seeds? I think dark seeds are like the precursor to, to mold. And I don't want to eat mold. So here we are again. Okay. The Unreaper. Andy's Unreaper. I'm Johnny Scoble and this is Chase the Heat. Super bitter. Slightly floral, but very bitter. That's one of the most bitter pods I've ever tasted. I like bitter. I've said that a lot of times. I've said a lot of times in the last month. Um, that's too bitter for me. Um, I've said this before also, when you have a couple different pods that are come together for a cross and you're familiar with one flavor or even both, I can't, I, I can't taste Reaper specifically. It's a hot pepper. Um, now here's the interesting thing. It's not burning me in my throat yet, which is where Reapers typically burn you. I had a very interesting question that was uh, posed yesterday. Really neat. And the person said, if you, I wish I'd put it in my phone. Um, they said, if, you, uh, if you're swallowing saliva that's got capsaicin on it from chewing up a pepper, isn't that what's burning your throat? That's a pretty good question. He prefaced it by saying, I was told the only dumb question is the one you don't ask. And I agree. So here's my answer to that. I think if you're chewing up pods and you're swallowing saliva that's got capsaicin, that can certainly can add to burning in your throat, but it doesn't solve, it's not, if it was all saliva that you're swallowing that burns the throat, it doesn't do that with other pods, like ghost pepper. You're chewing it up, high uh, capsaicin content, so hot pepper. When you swallow that, it 
really your throat's unaffected for the most part. It's really a mouth burn. So while I do think that swallowing just saliva that you're chewing up peppers, that's going to contribute to the throat burn, um, it doesn't explain the fact that other peppers don't do that. So I think there it definitely is something to Reapers and Seven Pop Primos that attack your throat. It's bizarre to me. If anybody knows why, there's some smarter people watching, a lot of smarter people watching this than me. Um, if, you, if you're a botanist and you know why Reapers or what process will make a Reaper burn you in the throat, I would love to know. Because it's a fascinating thing. It really is. It's, you got people from different sides of the world, don't speak the same language. It doesn't matter what their, uh, their level of, of capsaicin is, what they can tolerate. Reapers are going to burn your throat. It's just kind of the way it is. And it's a fascinating thing for me. Reaper, all peppers burn differently in different places. Not all in different places, but variety. I was eating a pepper with College Boy, and he, he his, said his mouth wasn't burned. His lip burned right here. It's a funny story. It's on video somewhere. Um, I would say it's peat. It's probably Reaper heat. You know, if 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 I didn't know what it was and someone told me it was Reaper, I'd say it was a bitter Reaper. But I, as far as heat's concerned, I'd believe it. It's warm. A non-chili head would not enjoy that whatsoever. The bitterness, you wouldn't even taste the bitterness because you'd be overrun with, if you're, if you're new at it, you eat something super hot, your taste buds are waving the white flag. They're, you know, you're, you're just dealing with heat, so you really can't identify flavors. Um, but it certainly has reaper heat. There's no two ways about that. So if I were to give it to somebody and say it was a reaper, the heat's there. And it's, it's an interesting shaped pot. It almost looked like a devil's tongue. Somebody would probably say that because there's an educated crew that watches the, this. The bus is educated. So somebody might say, hey, that kind of looked like a devil's tongue. Devil's tongue is a little thicker walled, um, not as hot, nearly as hot, but it does look sort of similar. Although that pot came to a point a little more, whereas a devil's tongue is more rounded at the point as the tip of the pot. Um, but all in all, it's a good experience. Another neat pod that I hadn't tried before. I thought when I was looking, I was like, am I going to find uh, Andy's Unreaper online? And I was able to. So that's kind of a neat thing. Um, guys, if, uh, in the description box, there's not, uh, you're going to see a link. And by the way, that was Abercrombie Hot Peppers that grew that. So in the description box, you're going to see a link for Abercrombie, Abercrombie uh, Hot Peppers. Jason and Laura, reach out to them. They have a hundred and... 100 plus varieties of peppers and they've grown some scorchers um a, mo a lot of the pods you've seen in the last week the majority of them are been have been from abercrombie so if you're interested in eating some super hot pods you can get them you can get some of the most exotic pods out there um if you're brand new at it sample it you don't you just take a sliver of a pod you can get the flavor you'll get an idea of the heat but you won't hurt yourself if you're brand new at it, eat something super hot um Psychologists call it one trial learning. It happens all the time. I've heard people say it a million times. I ate that once, never again. It's one trial learning. Um, with me, it was different. I burned myself. I was like, man, I need to do that again. But to prevent that one trial learning effect from happening, and you're new at this, cut them into slivers. That way you're not committing to the whole pot because you can always eat more. It's like the ride in the, like, a digital, like a roller coaster. It keeps going up. When you eat too much, you're strapped in. You aren't getting off that. It's going to happen. What's going to happen is going to happen. So um, slivers. You can always eat more, but once you've eaten too much, you're in it for the ride. Um, check out, uh, seriously, check out Abercrombie's Hot Peppers. They grow some great peppers. I've really enjoyed them so far. Um, right there is our pepper. If you click it, you're riding with me. Um, if you don't want to miss a video because spicy content is your jam, then click the bell for notification. You will see a Dropbox. Then select all. Um, but visit us daily because YouTube and their notifications. Mm -hmm. Right there is Leo Fire. More videos there. I love you guys. It's going to be a great day. I've got a surprise this afternoon. A big one. You aren't going to want to miss it. I'm Johnny Scoville. This was Chase the Heat.